Next, we'll see about the expanded form of uh, numbers. Okay. What are the expanded form of each digit? Fine. So, let me give you an example first of all. Let me take 18562. Okay. So, what we have seen in the before section is, what we have seen in the before section in one's place, there is no zeros. Okay. Fine. I'm repeating again and again because it's very important to know how much zero should be in an each digit. Okay. So, so that the place value will be easy and also now I'm going to teach about expanded form. Expanded form is also the same thing of the place value. Fine. So, we need to know how many zeros should be inserted in each places. So, no zeros, one zero. Here we have two zeros, three zeros and four zeros. Right. So, what is the place value of ones then? There is no zeros. So, I am going to write the number as it is. Then in ones place, one zero. So, I am going to write that number and add one zero. In hundred place, two zeros. So write the number and add two zeros. Eight. For eight, there is three zeros. One, two, three. Okay. One, four zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. Fine. This is the place value of a digit. Then how do you write the expanded form? How do you write the expanded form? If I ask you the expanded form of a 1, 8, 5, 6, 2. What is the expanded form of this number? It's nothing but you are going to write this all. Okay. You are going to write all this with a plus sign. Okay. 1, 10,000. Plus 8000 plus 500 plus 16 plus 2. This is known as an expanded form. This is known as an expanded form. Okay. So we are going to write the place value and I am going to insert plus sign over in each digit. So that is known as the expanded form. Fine. So, you are able to understand what is the expanded form, buddies? Okay. So, let me teach you an example. So, write the expanded form of 10101. What is that? 10101. Let me first of all write 1 stands under. 1 stands under 1000, 10,000. Okay. So, 1 will be in the place of 10101. One, one. Okay. I have written it in the respective places. Okay. Now, what is the place value of... Um, wait a minute. Okay. What is the place value of 1? There is no zeros. Right. So, we are going to write it as, as it is 1. Okay. Then... What is the place value of 0? What I have told the place value of 0 as 0. What is the place value of 0? Zero? 0. Okay. There is no place value for zeros. So, we are going, sorry, uh, there is no zeros for zeros. Okay. We are, going, uh, we are going to not insert any zeros after zeros. Okay. So, you can write it as 0. Fine. Then 1, 1 as 2 zeros. Right. 0 as 1 zero, no zeros. Here we have three zeros. Here we have four zeros. So in one you have two zeros. We are going to write one, two zeros added. Okay, fine. Then in thousand place only one zero. So we have what? Uh, you have to insert three zeros. But what you are going to do? You do just write it as zero. Fine. Then ten thousand. You are going to insert four zeros. So write the number one. 1, 2, 3, 4. Fine. This is known as the expanded form. Known as the expanded form. Yes. So, let me teach you the next example. Next example is seven five zero eight zero. Seven five zero eight zero. Okay. 
Okay, done. So, how many zeros in a ones place? No zeros. In tens place, one. In hundred place, two zeros. Thousand, three zeros. Ten thousand, four zeros. Okay. So now write it down. Start from the last digit. In ones place, there is zero. So I'm going to write as zero. Okay. Then in tens place, eight. Eight as one zero. Add one zero. Hundred. Hundred. We have the number as zero. So write zero as it is. Okay. We don't doesn't need to add any zeros. Five in the place of thousand. So how many zeros? Three zeros. Okay. Then seven in the place of ten thousand. So four zeros. One, two, three, four. This is the answer. It's very easy, right? Yes. Okay. So now I'll teach you how to. Form a number in an expanded form. Okay, so if they give you an expanded form, for example, so eighty thousand plus five thousand plus four hundred plus thirty plus one. Okay, if they have given you like this, so what they are asking you to write is write a number. What I am going, what you are going to do is write the number. Okay. So the question they have given, write the number. So how do you write the number with this? So you are going to first of all, what you do is write the ones, tens, under ones, tens, under thousand, ten thousand. Okay. So, in one's place there is no zeros. So where there is no zero in this, where there is no zero, one has no zeros. So it's in the place of ones. Then tens has one zero. So where there is one zero, yeah. So we're going to write only three. We're going to only write three because we're going to cancel out the zero. Okay, cancel out the zero. Then other place two zeros, right? So where there is two zeros, here we have two zeros. Cancel the two zeros and write the number four. Fine. Then in thousand three zeros, here we have three zeros. Cancel out three zeros and write the number five. For ten thousand four zeros, one two three four. Cancel out the four zeros and write the number eight. So this is the answer. What is the answer? Eight five four three one. The answer is eight five four three one. Fine. So this is how you will find out the number in an expanded form. If they give you like this, for example, if I change the question, if I change the question in a different form, just a minute. Okay. If I give you like this. Okay, if I give you like this, how do you find it? How can you find it? What you have to do is okay, that seven. So Just draw a box for you. okay. So in ones place there is no zeros, right? Then tens place one zero. Hundred place two zero. Thousand place three zero. Ten thousand place four zero. Right. So what are going to do? First of all, find the ones place where there is no zero. Where there is no zero, one. Okay, there is no zero. So write it in the ones place. Then where there is one zero, there is one zero. Yeah. Okay. Cancel out the one zero and write the number two. Then hundred. There will be two zeros. In question where there is two zeros, here we have two zeros. Cancel the two zeros and write the number 
eight. Okay, then thousand. Where there is three zeros, where there is three zeros, here we have three zeros. Cancel the three zeros and write the number five. Right? Where there is four zeros, is there any numbers left out? No. Right? So leave it as blank. Write it as zero. Okay. Write it as zero. Okay. So the answer is five eight two one. Okay, done. So if they have never given any of the places, write it as zero. Okay, write it as zero. One. Okay. We'll do some exercise based on the expanded form. 